Hey everybody, this is Midnight Update. I'm Seamus Byrne. Welcome to Monday, 2nd of February. I thought a good place to start would be with a tour of the office slash studio. So let's take a look at where I spend most of my day working as a tech journalist and blogger. Probably the obvious thing is the three monitors uh, hooked up across two systems. First, the uh, two monitors attached to the MacBook Pro, uh, Dell 24 inch uh, monitor, which is very nice, and the MacBook Pro itself, uh, which is my main system, uh, whether I'm here or on the road. The third monitor uh, is the uh, Samsung 20 inch, which is actually attached to the gaming system uh, underneath on this uh, shelf hidden away down here. Um, that's a Q6600 uh, beast and it dual boots Vista and Windows XP and funnily enough spends most of its day in Windows XP, very rarely in Vista. Uh, two keyboards because I'm not really interested in the whole keyboard switching kind of thing um, so this way I can do whatever I like on both systems at the same time. Uh, for the gaming machine I've got the Logitech G15 keyboard here. Uh, some people might notice it's the older version. Um, and then wireless uh, Microsoft keyboard and mouse uh, via dongle into the Mac. Uh, and then also please note the uh, Rosetta Stone mouse pad uh, which is super sexy and thanks very much to British Museum for making it. Uh, hidden away down the back there's also the uh, creative uh, stereo speakers. I think they're the T10s. I sometimes get that wrong. Um, but that's one and two uh, and they tuck away quite nicely and do a really good job on the sound. Um, behind this monitor, um, well behind the monitor is a very nice swing arm, uh, very cool attached to the desk. Um, but then I've also got my ReadyNAS uh, NV Plus, uh, which I would highly recommend to anybody. Uh, was made by Infront, but they're now owned by Netgear, so you find them under Netgear. Um, and it's a very nice little machine. Um, and then my general comms bits, obviously a phone, Netcom ADSL router, and an Apple wireless router. Um, the other cool stuff, a whole bunch of little gadgets uh, right here on the desk. Um, uh, USB um, for, for the Mac. Um, and then we've got the iPhone, uh, the Blackberry, Bold, and an N96. Uh, I like them all pretty much, but uh, I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to stick with long term. So that's probably something we'll come back to sometime soon. Uh, other random stuff. Uh, my favorite camera I have ever owned the Canon G9, uh, very, very nice piece of gear and it, uh, I would highly recommend you try to get a hold of it if you're in the market for a high-end compact digital uh, as uh, these are basically disappearing. Uh, it's been replaced by the G10 um, but the G10 sucks by comparison so most people are paying more money for this now than they'll pay for a G10. If you can get your hands on one, get it. If you've got it, keep it. Um, what else we got? Uh, random toys. Always good to have toys on your desk. Uh, I have a uh, random little uh, uh, USB key, Intel Bunny Man. Um, I think it's like a 4 gig USB key. Um, we've also got my uh, little The Blob guy in his box, as you do. Uh, then we've got our um, soft Bunny Man, little Bunny Man. Um, Picked him up at IDF in San Francisco, and he's cool. Um, other toys, Sack Boy. Uh, you gotta love having a little Sack Boy around town. Uh, from Little Big Planet, of course. He's cool. Uh, Master Chief helmet. Um, uh, just makes the day easier when you know you've got Master Chief keeping an eye on things. Um, and also keeping an eye on things uh, is uh, KG and JB Tenacious D uh, picks picked up at their Metro gig in Sydney. Uh, and those guys were all. Um, so that's kind of most of the stuff on the desk. Uh, then of course we have the uh, chill zone, game zone, uh, Philips 32 inch TV, a couple of generations old, um, thus the Belkin um, HDMI switcher because it doesn't have the capacity to actually handle all the HDMIs that I use nowadays. Uh, in the cupboard we have uh, PS2, uh, Wii, 
Apple TV, Apple TV hacked with the ATV uh, USB um, uh, update, um, which is the only way to fly with that one. Um, PS3, Xbox 360. Um, the Samsung printer down the bottom, um, which is a beautiful machine, though it's tucked away because that's the best place for it to live, sadly, but it's a really sexy beast. Uh, and over here, an old VCR, because you just never know when you're gonna need one again. Who knows, who knows? Um, so it is also uh, a bit of a fave. So we've also got um, over here, the uh, Herman Miller Leaf Light uh, LED lamp, which when I've turned off all these uh, cooking lights, um, is just a nice little subtle bit of background lighting uh, for the desk. The desk itself um, is probably the most stunning piece of equipment in my office, uh, made by a company in Melbourne called AME Systems. Uh, I'll link them up on the website. Um, it's actually a fully powered hydraulic lifting desk. Um, so you've got the up and down. Uh, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, we've also got 12 power bays um, in the back down here. Um, and if anybody has any good tips on cable management under a desk when you've got this much power uh, attached to the desk, uh, please send me tips at midnightupdate.com. Uh, I would love to know what to do about all that crap. Um, so the desk itself, yes, it has presets for standing um, and sitting, uh, which you define yourself. Um, so it makes life very nice for my back, um, which isn't the best in the world. Um, but also a lot of help from the Herman Miller Aeron. Uh, so yeah, standing, sitting throughout the day, I can switch it up. Uh, and I think it's a pretty good workstation all in all. Um, so that's the office uh, and this has been the first episode of Midnight Update. Uh, from now on you'll be able to join me uh, weeknights at midnight Sydney time for the day's tech news uh, and for more daily coverage visit midnightupdate.com.